Okay, here I have this zinc bromide battery, uh, which the electrode is made from plaster of Paris material. So the idea of using some plaster of Paris in some zinc bromide battery came from my comment section. Uh, and the guy with the name Electron Proton Neutron Moron asked me if I can use some plaster of Paris in some zinc bromide battery. And yes, of course, I try uh, to make one, and here I have this cell. So, uh, if you look a little bit closer on this cell, uh, this one looks like that is solid state. But actually, this is because the plaster of Paris absorb really, really well the electrolyte. The electrolyte which I use is still two more of zinc bromide. But, like I said, the plaster of Paris absorb really, really fine the electrolyte and that's why uh, the look of the battery is like it's some in solid state form. Uh, and, yeah, so the zinc electrode is made from zinc metal. Uh, then, for the positive current collector, I use some, some graphite plate. And the active material for the positive side is made from plaster of Paris and a little bit of carbon additive to make everything more conductive. Uh, the separator is also made from plaster of Paris and that's it. And of course I use the electrolyte uh, which is still more using bromide. Now I will demonstrate. And yeah, uh, <clears throat> actually the battery works really, really fine. So in basic it's a little bit sad that this kind of battery cannot be in solid state, in some real solid state form, uh, because uh, the cell really needs some liquid electrolyte. But the pasta of Paris absorb really, really fine. Uh, the electrolyte I will show you uh, later in this video. Okay, and now I will make uh, a fresh zinc bromide battery with plaster of Paris. Okay, to make this zinc bromide battery, which uses some plaster of Paris, first I need to make some positive active material out from. Uh, plaster of Paris. So, uh, into this beaker I will add two teaspoons of plaster of Paris. One. And two. And now one teaspoon of uh, carbon powder. So the carbon powder is for increasing the conductivity. So I add two teaspoons of plaster of Paris and one teaspoon of uh, carbon, carbon black. Okay, and now I will add uh, some zinc bromide electrolyte. If you want, you can also use some water. In my case, I will use two mol of zinc bromide out from this cell, if you remember this cell. Now I will get really nice pasta. But the longer you mix it, uh, harder will be the material. So at this point, you need to be a little bit quick. Here I have my graphite plate. This is for the bottom. And here I have cut 
some plastic. Uh, here I will fill this material to get this squared shape. Okay, really nice. But if you do like so, uh, this material when uh, will be dry will be really really fragile. That's why for this uh, I will use also this, which is some low density glass fiber. And that's why uh, the electrode will be much, much more stronger. So now you press the material really, really hard in this mold to get really nice squared shape. And that's it. Now what you need to do, just cut the top. Really nice. And actually, right now, you get your positive active material, <coughs> positive active material for zinc bromide battery but of course this way you can make the active material uh, almost for any kind of battery not only for zinc bromide battery you can use this method to make i don't know for every battery which you came to your mind now you need to leave that this one will be dry uh, and then I will go to the next step. Okay, <clears throat> this one is dry and now I can put out from this mold. Okay, I get some crackings. because I was a little bit too fast. Now I will show you this. So this is really nice absorption of pasta for Paris. I put the electrolyte on the top That's it. So that's why, because of this, uh, the battery looks like it's in some solid state form. Uh, okay, so here is my current collector, graphite current collector. On the top, I will put this one. And of course, uh, I need some separator. Here I have also some zinc for the negative electrode. And the separator I will make only from this plaster of Paris and into this I will add a little bit of electrolyte. And 
and now I will get something like this and this one I will put on the top okay I can also put a little bit on the zinc electrode as well and yeah this is the separator made really simply from best of all Paris and now I just need to put this together I also need to add a little bit of electrolyte because uh, the battery will not work really, really well. And then I will put this on my charger. And after five minutes or seven minutes, something like this, I will disconnect my power supply and I will connect this little motor. And yeah. The battery don't have any problems to run this 100 milliamps load. I mean 100 milliamps strong motor. Really nice. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video.